Good evening out there students. This is Teacher Prashant back with another video. This video is linear graph part 8 and in this video we'll be learning how to find our y-intercept with the given value of gradient and x and y coordinate. Now this is the question which we will be solving today. If a straight line AB is passing through the point C where x is 1, y is 3 on a graph and the gradient or slope of the line AB is 3. What will be the y-intercept of the line AB? So how do we do this? Let's go find out. First of all, let us break down the question in three segments so that it is easier for you to understand what the question is exactly asking you. Now the first segment is straight line AB is passing through the point C where x is 1 and y is 3 on a graph. Second segment of the question is given gradient of a line AB is 3. So we know the slope of the line AB is 3. Third segment is find out the y-intercept of the line AB means where on the graph the line AB cuts the y-axis. y-intercept also means the value of y when x is 0. How much is y at a point where x is 0? And that's what we'll be finding in this question. Let's focus on the first segment of the question. And the first segment of the question is, a straight line AB is passing through the point C where X is 1 and Y is 3. So let's go find out our point C. Where is our point C? Our point C is right here. This is our point C. This is point C where X is 1 and Y is 3. So where is our line AB? We cannot tell you the exact location of the line AB. You know why? Because we have just one coordinate of the line AB which is coordinate C where X is 1 and Y is 3. And in order to know the exact location of the line we need two set of ordered pair means we need two different coordinates. Now my question to everybody watching this video is why do we need two coordinates to find our line? We need two coordinates to locate our line because if we join those two coordinates with the help of a straight line, we could tell the exact location of our line AB. But right now, all we have is one coordinate which is C. So how do we find out the exact location of our line AB? Since we don't know the second coordinate of the line AB, we cannot tell exactly where the line is located on the graph which means we could have many possible line outcomes on the graph where the line is passing through the point C. Now the first line which we could imagine passing through the point C might be this line. So let's go give a name to a line. Let's give it a name A1 and B1. Second line which we could think of is this line right here. Our line AB might be this line since this line is also passing through the point C. So let's go give a name to a line. A2 and B2. Third line which I could think of is this line. As this line is also passing through the point C. So let's go give a name to a line. Let's write A3 and B3. The fourth line might be this line. So let's go give a name to this line as well. Let's write A4 and B4. And the fifth line, which I could think of, is this line. Let's go give this a name. A5 and B5. Now these are the five lines I could come up with, which is passing through our point C. But, but before you proceed further into this video, keep in mind that these five lines are not the only lines you could think of. These five lines I chose on random basis and there could be more than five lines which could be our actual line AB. But the problem right here is we yet don't know which one of these five lines is our actual line AB. Now the reason we don't know the exact location of our line is because we don't know the second coordinate. But if we could find out the second coordinate of our line AB we could easily tell where is our line AB located. And that's exactly what we are going to be working on. Now, do you all realize that every possible line is cutting y-axis at a point? 
Now, I don't know if you all have noticed that all these five lines which we made on the graph is actually cutting y-axis at a point. Which means every line has a y-intercept value. Now, y-intercept value of a line basically means that where that line is cutting y-axis on the graph. So as we can see, line A1, B1 is cutting y-axis at point 1. Line A2, B2 is cutting y-axis at point 2. Line A3, B3 is cutting y-axis at point 3. And line A4, B4 is cutting y-axis at point 4. Line A5, B5 is cutting y-axis at 5. So we can say that every line has a y-intercept value. The y-intercept value of A1, B1 is 1. A2, B2 is 2. A3, B3 is 3. A4, B4 is 4. A5, B5 is 5. Now what does this exactly tell you? This tells you that if we could find out the y-intercept of our line AB, we could have our second coordinate. And once we have our second coordinate, we could locate our line easily. So, and what is our second coordinate? Our second coordinate is the y-intercept value of the line AB, which means where exactly our line AB is cutting the y-axis. And if we could find out the point exactly where the line cuts the y-axis, we get our second coordinate and we join these two coordinates in order to get our line AB. And that is exactly what we will be doing in this video. And that is exactly what this question is asking you. The question is asking you to find out the value for y-intercept of the line AB. Means where the line AB cuts y-axis. And once we get those points, we could join those points and get our line AB. Now let's move on to the second segment of our question. Which is that the given gradient of line AB is 3. Now my question to everybody watching this video again is why do we need the value of gradient to find out the value for y-intercept? And simple answer to that question is we need the value of gradient to find out y-intercept because we need to substitute the value of our gradient into our equation of line with a value of x and y in order to find out the value for y-intercept. Why? Because in equation y equal mx plus c, m stands for the value of gradient. Now, how will we do that? We will find that in just a little bit of time. Now, let's move on to the last and final segment of our question, which is find out the y-intercept of the line AB, or where on the graph the line AB cuts the y-axis. How do we find out the value for our y-intercept? Let's focus on what information have we got in this question. In this question, we have one coordinate, which is C, which means we have a value for x and we have a value for y. And we also have the value of our gradient of line AB, which is 3. How do we use this information to find out the value for y-intercept? Now, it is time to find out the value for y-intercept of the line AB by substituting all those values into our equation of line. And if you all don't know what is equation of line, what is a gradient, what is a y-intercept, what is a coordinate, I have already done a video on all those topics and I will put a link to my playlist on top of your screen so that you guys could click and learn more. And I highly recommend that you should know the basics before you proceed yourself further into this question. So in equation of line, y equal mx plus c, what is y? y is simply a y coordinate of a point, m is the value for gradient, x is the x coordinate of a point, and c stands for y-intercept. Now it's time to find out the value for our y-intercept and find where exactly our line AB is located. Now we have the value of our gradient as 3 and we have a coordinate which means we also have a value for x and we also have a value for y. x is 1 and y is 3. Now let's go substitute all these value into our equation of line and find out what is our y-intercept. So our y is 3. Our gradient is also 3 and our x is 1 
and our c is y in the set which we yet don't know. So if we solve this equation for c which is y intercept, we will find what our y intercept is which actually means where in the graph the line a b cuts the y axis. So 3 equals 3 times 1 will be 3 plus c. So in order to find out the value for c, you have to send this 3 on the other side of equal to. Since this 3 is actually positive, when a positive value goes on other side, it changes to negative. So c is equal to 3 minus 3 equal 0. So our y intercept value is 0, which means when x is 0, y is also 0. And this is our second coordinate. Now finally we have a value for our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is 0, which basically means what is the value of y when x is 0. So when x is 0, y is also 0. And this is how we get our second coordinate. Now let's go plot that second coordinate on the graph which I have already done. So this is point D where x is 0 and y is 0. And this is point C where x is 1 and y is 3. So if we join these two points, we get our line AB. So this is our AB line and this is exactly where it is located. So we are done with this question and that's how we find the value for y intercept with just a given value a gradient and a given coordinate of x and y. If you have any question regarding this video or any of my previous video, please feel free to drop a comment down into the comment section and I will be there to help you. Now before I wrap up this video, let me tell you the topic for our next video. In our next video, we will learn how to find out the equation of line with the given coordinate of x and y and a value of gradient. So, thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing if you are interested in more future maths content and please do hit a like on this video if this video was of any help to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video. A very goodbye from Teacher Prashant. You guys have a good one.